It's Mr. Marr! <laughs> Miss Carrie! Hey, it's John! <laughs> Hi, I'm Body Pete. <laughs> Mr. Matt! Welcome to the month of July. We are gonna continue our same theme, I spy with my little eye, but we're gonna have four brand new bottom lines. Week one, we're gonna learn about Jesus loving us no matter what. That means even when we make mistakes, Jesus will still love us. That's an awesome thing to learn. Week two, we're gonna learn about somebody who made everything. I can't wait for that week. Week three, we're gonna learn all about the truth. Not your truth, not my truth, but God's truth. Week four, we're gonna learn about something that's real. Hmm, start thinking, I wonder what it could be. So, let's check out our schedule before we get started. In this lesson, we will do seven things. First, we will have worship. Next, we will listen to our Bible story told by our buddies. Then we will watch our Bible video, followed by WH time to answer small group questions. We will then practice our monthly Bible verse and make a craft. Lastly, we will talk to God by praying. Hey champs, it's Mr. Mark here. We are going to have a great day of worship and a great week of worship. I know you are. We're going to worship God together. We've been learning so much about who? Hmm. Jesus, that's right. We've been learning about Jesus. Who can believe in Jesus? That's like Mr. Matt says that every week. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. And we've been playing this game, I Spy with my little eye. And I Spy has been so much fun, friends. I just love inviting you to learn about Jesus and learn about I Spy and having so much fun. Let's get ready to sing for him right now. Here we go. Hey y'all, Mr. Mark here. It's time for Champions Club at home. 
Here we go. I'm in my comfort chair and I love doing things in my comfort chair. You know what I love doing like, things in my comfort chair? I love reading the Bible. I love reading comic books. And when I read my comic books, sometimes I, I get my imagination kind of gets away from me. And today I'm imagining that I am a doctor. I know, page of Dr. Reed, page of Dr. Reed. That's pretty far-fetched, ain't it? I was thinking about all kinds of doctors. There's doctors that work on your heart. There's doctors that work on your lungs. But you know what doctors I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about the doctor that works on this here right here, your eye. Because we like this play, I Spy, right? We love I Spy. We love I Spy so much that we're gonna have a pretend game right now. I'm gonna pretend that we're in Mr. Mark or Dr. Mark's eye doctor office. And we need to check your vision out with some eye spy. Today, we're gonna use something special. I'm gonna show you right here. I got it. It is our CNC machine. Chart. Like I see it. I spy. Get it? A I spy. I am an I. And this is our chart that is the I see it chart. I'm going to tape it up here. I got my tape here ready. Come on over, follow me. I'm going to put it right here in front of this little here window. Help you to see it better. Okay, here we go. Now, here's how we play the game. Step, step 10 paces back now. 10 paces back. Come on over here, let me see. make sure you see me. 10 paces back, and I want you to pretend like you're at the doctor's office. Cover your eye, huh? Cover your eye, and then you have to see, I spy, see if you can I spy things with me. Okay, here we go. I spy on my chart, here we go. I spy with my little eye something brown, a little bit of white. It's fuzzy, likes to give you kisses and lick you all over the face. What is it? <gasps> you got it. I spy a dog. Good job. Good job. Now come on back here. Let's figure it out again. Remember, keep your hand over an eye, 10 steps back, and make sure. You are looking real hard trying to find our I spy with Dr. Mark here. Here we go. The next thing, we're trying to find two things now. Two things. These things are green, got some brown in them, and they grow in the dirt. Let's see if we can find it. We got two things. They're green and brown, and they grow in the dirt. Hmm. Oh, look at there. One, two trees. You guys are so smart. Okay, come on back here, come on back. Okay, you've been spying with Mr. Mark out of this eye. Let's get ready to spy out of this eye. Here we go. We've done one thing, that was a dog. Two things, that was a tree. Now, let's get ready to make, find us three things. So come on over. I spy with my little eye, something that is bright and shiny and yeller. What is it? What is it? There it is. Three suns. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, you guys are so good. Now, right over here, covering this eye now. Four things. Think with your brain. We want to have four things, and they're bright red, and they're shaped like what's right here in my chest. Can we find it? Four things, bright red, shaped like something in your chest. You found it! One, two, three, four hearts. You guys are so smart. I am so glad that I have you friends here to keep me company at home while I'm playing I Spy. Imagine like I'm a doctor. I'm not really a doctor. I just play one on TV. <laughs> A little joke for Mr. Mark. Oh, excuse me, Dr. Mark. Anyway, Dr. Mark will be back to talk to you guys a little bit more later after the Bible story. You guys enjoy it now. You hear? Hi, everyone.
everyone, it's Miss Carrie here. I'm so glad to see you today. Oh my goodness, didn't Mr. Mark do a great job pretending to be an eye doctor? Oh my gosh, you guys had so much fun. Well, today I need you to be ready to help me tell our Bible story. So let's get our eye spy eyes ready. Okay, let me see those binoculars like this. Okay, well you look ready to me. Let's get started. Our true story from the Bible is about a place called heaven. Have you heard about heaven? Mm -hmm. Well, one day, Jesus, he was with his friends, the disciples, and he was talking to them, and he said something very important, okay? Jesus told them that he would go away soon. He said he was going to heaven. See, watch. Heaven. That's right, champs. Jesus was going to heaven, and heaven is a very special place. And Jesus told the disciples two things about heaven. He said, number one, he would leave to get heaven ready for all the people who believe in him. And number two, heaven is very big and has a lot of room for everyone who believes in him. So the time came for Jesus to go away to heaven. So Jesus went to heaven, but remember, Jesus came back, okay? And when he came back, he visited with many of his friends. Jesus wanted them to see with their own eyes that he is alive. He talked with his friends and they ate food with them so they would see that he is alive and they believe in him. This reminds me, let's get our binoculars ready. I spy with my little eye something that you use to carry your groceries. You can place all your items in it and you can place it on your shoulder. Okay guys, let's see if we can find actually a grocery cart and some play food and a grocery bag. Let's see, hmm, are we getting closer? <gasps> there it is you guys, there's our grocery cart with play food and there's a grocery bag. You found it, good job champs. Okay, champs, here's our grocery bag, and here's all of our play food I have today. Let's see what we have. We have an ice cream cone. Mmm, strawberry. Let's put that in our bag. We have pancakes. Ooh, how many of you love pancakes? Ooh, let's see. I have pizza, pepperoni pizza. How about a slice of orange? Mm hmm I even have a hamburger. And look, I have two kinds of bread. Hey, did you guys know that Jesus ate with his friends? They had fish and they had bread? Mm-hmm. And while Jesus, while he was talking and eating with his friends, he told them to go and tell everyone everywhere that Jesus, he's alive and he wants to be their friend forever. Then something amazing happened. After Jesus finished talking to his friends, he went straight into the sky, through the clouds, and oh you guys, we gotta see this. Through the clouds, straight to heaven. So let's get our binoculars ready, you guys. I spy with my little eye something white and fluffy and it floats in the sky. Can you guys see if you see something that's white and fluffy and floats in the sky? Come on, look with me, get your binoculars. Let's see if we can find something white and fluffy and it's in the sky. Okay, so we should probably look up, right guys? Let's see. Hmm, are we getting closer? Wait a minute, I see something white and fluffy hanging over here. What is that, guys? Could that be our cloud? You found it, champs. All right, champs, here's our cloud that we found. Good job. Did you know that all of Jesus' friends, they saw him go into the clouds? Mm-hmm. And while Jesus' friends were standing there looking up at the clouds, right, in the sky, they're looking in the sky. There were two angels. They came and they asked them, why are you looking at the sky? Jesus, he has gone to heaven, but he'll be back. Wow. We know heaven is real because Jesus told us it's real. We can believe Jesus because he is the truth. Let's do that again. We can believe Jesus because he is the truth. 
Mm -hmm. Everyone who believes in Jesus will get to be his friend forever and live with him in heaven one day, you guys. Jesus is there right now getting it ready for everyone who believes in him. And the best part is that we can all believe in Jesus. So let's say this, say, I can believe in Jesus. You can believe in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. So one last time, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? Say, I can believe in Jesus. Who can believe in Jesus? Say, I can believe in Jesus. It was very special being with you today and talking about heaven. So I will see you guys next time, all right? Have a blessed week. Bye. Hey, champs. It's time for our Bible story with Ollie the Owl. Woo, woo. Ollie the Owl. Let's go. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out today's special. Ta-da! I call them Taste Like Heaven because each bite is the best thing ever. <laughs> Which is exactly the true story I want to tell you today. Get your I Spy eyes ready so you can help me tell the story. Awesome! If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, Two, three, tell me a story. Raise your hand if you have ever heard about a place called heaven. Great, that is what our story is about today. A very special place called heaven. One day, Jesus was with his friends, the disciples. He told them he would be going away soon. He said he was going to a special place called heaven to get everything ready for all of the people who believed in him. He said this place was very big and it had a lot of rooms. Later, after Jesus died and came back, he visited many of his friends. Jesus wanted his friends to see that he was alive with their very own eyes. Jesus talked with them and ate food with them so they would see he is alive and believe in him. Do you see Jesus alive? Help me look for him. I spy with my little eye. Jesus is alive! While Jesus was talking and eating with his friends, he told them to go and tell everyone that he is alive and he wants to be their friend forever. Then something amazing happened. After Jesus finished talking to his friends, he went straight up into the sky, through the clouds, and into heaven. All of his friends saw him do it with their very own eyes. Can you see a sky with clouds? Look with me. I spy with my little eye. A sky with clouds! <laughs> While Jesus' friends were standing there looking at the sky, two angels came and asked them, why are you looking at the sky? Jesus has gone to heaven, but he'll be back. Wow, we know heaven is real because Jesus told us it is real. And we can believe Jesus because he always tells the truth. And everyone who believes in Jesus will get to be his friend forever and live with him in heaven one day. Can you see why this is one of my favorite true stories from the Bible? And Jesus is getting a place in heaven ready for everyone who believes in him. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. <laughs> Wasn't that a great Bible story by Miss Carrie? I just love her Bible stories, especially the ones about Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus wants to be my forever friend. 
I had fun with you guys too, playing my I Spy with my I Spy chart right here. It was so much fun. Did you get the lesson in my game, right? There's my lesson. There, there's a lesson from Miss Carrie, and there's that game, and there, it, you know what else? I forgot one thing. I forgot all about the most important thing. It's right here. It's our Bible. Our Bible is where we can learn all about Jesus and Him. He is my forever, ever, ever bestest friend. And I just love learning about that. Did you get that today? Did you get that Jesus is your forever friend? Give me a thumbs up if you get it. One thumbs up, two thumbs up if you got it. <laughs> I learned that right here in my Bible on my comfort chair that Jesus is my forever friend. Boy, I love him. And I know you love him too. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching Champions Club with me. <laughs> well, anyway, I know right here, because it says so right here in this Bible, that Jesus is praying for me right now. Praying for Mr. Mark, Dr. Mark. <laughs> He's praying for me, and he's doing everything he can to make sure that he knows, that I know, that Jesus is my forever friend. I'm just so happy that I can share that with you. And I know that he's also building a house there in heaven for me. I can imagine it. It's an even more comfy chair. Maybe it's like a wraparound porch. I got all kinds of rocking chairs, and all the dogs I ever owned in my entire life are sitting there with me. I can see it now in my eye. Anyway, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Love you guys, and see you soon. What's up, champs? Mr. Matt, back in my room again. How cool. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that Bible story. That was a really good one, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, well, it's time for our WH questions today. We just have three of them. Now our first question, now this is one I think that you guys know pretty well. That is, who can believe in Jesus? Hmm. Well, I can believe in Jesus. You can believe in Jesus. We all, we all can believe in Jesus. The important thing about this question is that people have to hear about Jesus in order to believe in him which is why he told us to tell everyone, everywhere, to share his story and tell them about Jesus. Right? Good job, okay. Second question today. This one might be a little bit tough. It relates to our story though, so let's use our brains today. The second question is, what is heaven? Hmm. Is it a place up in the clouds where there's candy everywhere? No, I don't think so. Heaven, it's a special place where God lives. It's where Jesus, he's making a place for me, for you, for everyone who believes and trusts in him. Heaven, that's where we get to be with Jesus forever. And that sounds amazing, doesn't it? The third question today is why can we believe in Jesus? Now, I think it's important to ask why or how a lot of the times. Luckily, our Bible has the answer to this question, but we'll still need to use our brains today. Now, we can believe in Jesus because he is the truth, and that's what the Bible tells us. He performed many miracles and even died on a cross for us. Jesus did all of these amazing things because he loves us and wants us to trust him. He wants to be our friend forever. That's why he did all of these things. And we can choose to love and trust him. And that's why we can believe in Jesus. All right, champs. Well, this was a great story. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the questions. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hi, champs. It's time for our monthly Bible verse. Here it is. It says, Jesus is the Son of God. And if you believe this, 
you will have life because you belong to him. Isn't that awesome, you guys? This is from John chapter 20, verse 31. Hey champs, it's time to make our craft today. Look what we're making. This is called the Ascension Craft. Basically, we have a sunshine with a cloud that says Jesus went to heaven. Oh, and where's our Jesus? He's right here. See, here's our Jesus on the string. And this is the sky with the clouds. And then we pull him up, up, up. He's going to heaven to prepare a place for us. So this is what we're gonna make today. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a plastic blue cup. Now, if you don't have any cups at home, you can use blue construction paper and fold it and kind of make a cylinder and you can tape it, okay? You're gonna need some yellow paper, two pieces of white paper, some cotton, some liquid glue, some string, tape, some crayons, pencil, marker, and scissors. Okay, let's get started. Now, the first thing that I realized is I'm not very good at drawing people. So I thought, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a basic Jesus. Now, if you don't wanna do this, that's okay. Maybe you have a computer at home and you can print out a picture of Jesus and cut him out, that's fine too. But for today, I'm gonna to show you how to draw a basic little Jesus. This is what we're gonna do. First, you need to draw kind of like a half oval like this. Kind of like a horseshoe, do you see that? Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna do like a V, upside down V like that. This is gonna be Jesus's hair, just like this. We're gonna give Jesus two little eyes and there's his eyebrows. And we're gonna do his nose like this. We're gonna go down and go backwards. It's kind of like a backwards L. Do you see that? We're gonna do a little smile. And he had a mustache and he had a beard. Okay, now we're gonna give him a little neck and his arms, because he's going up into heaven, we're gonna make those arms go up, just like that. And we're gonna make those sleeves come down like this. You see that? And the rest of it, we're gonna make it straight like a long rectangle, just like that. All right, let's go back to the arms. We're gonna make his little hands peek out of his sleeves. So we're gonna give him a little thumb, and these are the rest of the fingers, all kind of squished together like that. All right, and we're gonna give him a sash on his waist and the other part that goes across him like this. And we're gonna cut that part off like that. And we're just gonna give him two little shoes. One round one, run round one over here. All right, so now we're gonna color him. Now, Jesus was pretty dark, so we're gonna give him dark hair, dark eyes, and his eyebrows, and his nose, and all his facial hair. And then I'm just gonna lightly color his skin. You can make Jesus any way you want, okay? You can use whatever colors you want. But for today, I'm using the brown for his shoes, his hands, and his skin. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of blue, and I'm gonna color his sash blue. If you notice, even on my Jesus that I made earlier, I used black and I did all the outline with that too. So you guys have fun with this. That's what art is. You be creative on your own. All right, we're not gonna cut out Jesus or tape him yet. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cup and our scissors. Now, a grown-up's gonna have to help you with this. And we're gonna poke a hole right in the middle of it, just like that, woo, all right. And now we're gonna get our string, whatever string you have at home, let's cut off a piece. And we have to feed it down into the hole. It has to be done first or else it's too hard. So you feed it through, you feed it through, and hopefully you can find it and pull it through. There you go. And now you take your Jesus that you cut out. We're gonna cut them out now. Here we go, really quick. Here's our Jesus. Okay, and we're gonna take the tape, you guys, and we're gonna tape the string to the back of Jesus, just like this. All right, we're halfway there, you guys. Here he is, he's ready to go up into heaven. Now, you're gonna take your cotton balls. It doesn't take very many. In fact, you might only need one or two, because you're just gonna take little pieces of your cotton and you're gonna fluff it and make it look like a cloud. And now you're gonna take your glue just like this and you're gonna put little dots of glue on your cup. And basically, you just go around with your cotton balls because you're making it like the sky with the clouds. And we're gonna put cotton balls all around it just like this one. See how cute? Okay, now the next part is we have to finish the top. That 
that's when we're going to use the other piece of white paper and you're going to draw a cloud any way you want to and then you want to cut it out okay let's get our scissors let's cut it out and we're going to write a message on it now on our cloud just like this one here it see it says that jesus went to heaven yes he did so let's do that let's write on there i'm going to write with the marker now our cloud is ready. Now we need to make the sun. So you're gonna take your yellow piece of paper, find something that's circular that you can trace a circle. I have my ribbon here, so I'm gonna trace it right here with my pencil. This is gonna be my sun. All right, I'm gonna cut it out. Now, you can do a full circle or you can do this cute little trick. Watch my scissors. I'm just gonna kinda of go zigzaggy around it. Kind of like little half triangles. Zigzag, zigzag. It kind of makes it look like a really bright sun. Like it's shiny. Peering out behind the cloud. That's kind of what we're doing. All right, here's my sunshine. Now, I'm going to actually take some tape. You can use glue, whatever you want. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape right behind my cloud so I can have my sun peering out the side, just like this. See? Now I'm gonna make the face peer out like this, the sunshine. So here's two eyeballs and a cute little smile coming behind. Here we go. There, there's our sun. Now we're gonna tape this on the back of the other piece of ribbon. Here we go. This is the top part. And we finished, you guys, here it is. And all we have to do is pull Jesus up, 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 and there he goes, right into the clouds, right into the sky, straight to heaven, because that's what it says. He went to heaven to prepare a place for us. Boy, does he love us. That's going to be special. All right, you guys, have a blessed week. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye. All right, champs, Mr. Matt here. Let's get ready for our prayer today. So let's fold our hands bow our heads and just open our hearts up to God. Uh, dear God, we just thank you so much for all that you have done for us, you know, throughout our whole lives and all that you did for us on the cross and how, how much you just love us. And, and we are so thankful just for the amount of love that you give. And, and we're so happy that no matter what we do, maybe we may hurt you sometimes or we may be hurt by other people, but no matter what, it's it's your love and you just love us so much and that's never going to stop. And we just thank you so, so much for that. And even during these times, maybe we're a little scared or maybe we're not certain about what's going to happen tomorrow. We can always trust that you love us above all else. So we just thank you for that. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. On Friday, July 24th, save the date for our 360 virtual backyard campout. It's going to be like nothing you have ever experienced. More information coming soon. You won't want to miss it. Don't forget to join our Zoom meetings. This is a great opportunity to stay connected with buddies and friends. We play games and practice our Bible verse together too. We meet every Sunday at 4. You can register online at our church website. For safety, a private link will be sent to you every Sunday. See you there. There are lots of ways to stay connected with us during the week on our website, scgchurch.org, Facebook, and Instagram. Be sure to tag us so we can be a part of your church at home worship experience. How can we pray for you? Call or text your prayer request to 714-750-9222 or you can email scgkids at seacoastgrace.org. We'll see you next week.